Do you want to start selling on eBay or are you looking to improve your listing quality and maximize your selling success? Why sell on eBay? eBay really is a place that you can sell and buy almost anything that is not restricted in your country, which is why I recommend it if you are looking to build an e-commerce business and wondering if online sales is for you. You will get to experience the entire online selling process from listing items to sell with a title, description and photos, through to packing and shipping and customer service. All this whilst potentially making some money and decluttering your home. So before committing the time to setting up on other platforms, which can be more involved, or registering a domain and creating a website, it is a great way to test things out first. If you are building a business on the side of other commitments such as college and existing job or family commitments, then eBay is a great place to get going quickly, which is important because the key, if you haven't already, is just to start. It generally takes time to build up experience and momentum to get consistent sales. So the sooner you start or begin to focus on it, the sooner you will be on your way to success. eBay started in 1995 and has grown to be a well-established platform with over 135 million users worldwide in 2022, with nearly $28 billion worth of goods being bought and sold. So imagine if you can tap into even a tiny slice of this revenue, and the great news is that you can. It is easy to reach a global audience too. I'm based in the UK and ship in the UK, but by opting into eBay's global shipping program, I have reached customers overseas. But all I have to do for international customers is to ship to eBay's facility in the UK and they handle the exporting for me. eBay doesn't have to be a gateway to another platform or your own website. There are many businesses that started from humble beginnings on eBay and then grew and grew to achieve six figures or more yearly sales and are now sizable operations operating out of warehouses with several employees. You will also find well-known brands with brick and mortar stores selling on eBay too, because they don't want to miss out on the vast numbers of potential customers. How to sell on eBay. It is relatively quick and easy to get going on eBay. After registering for an account, if you don't already have one as a buyer, register for an account, click sell, and you'll be guided through filling in your listing. I do recommend that you take the 10 minutes or so to read through eBay's user agreement. I'll add a link in the video notes to make sure that you are comfortable with the rules and expectations before getting started. Today I want to list a pressure washer, so I'll share my screen with you and show you how I do it, along with tips for smooth and successful selling, including the best time to list and how to minimize fees. Listing photos. It is really important to include as many clear and sharp photos as you can of what you are trying to sell. It is the buyer's only way to see what they are getting and can make the difference in them buying your item or not. Unless the item you are selling is brand new and sealed, I would avoid using stock photos. Taking your own photos lets you show what, if any, accessories come with the item and is a good opportunity to show any damage or defects. However minor these might be, it is well worth being transparent and highlighting them. This way, a potential buyer knows exactly what they are getting and avoids potential problems later like bad reviews, complaints and refunds or returns. Not everyone needs or expects a used item to be perfect. On the topic of descriptions, people tend to look at photos more and read descriptions less, so do not assume that your notes about condition etc will necessarily be read. Taking photos. For one-off listings, your phone camera is all you need and if you're short of time, it is what I recommend and what I usually use myself because the eBay app works really well. You can quickly upload your photos to your listing directly from your phone and make simple edits if needed. What has more impact is to make sure you have good lighting from either natural sunlight or grabbing a couple of desk lamps etc so that your photos turn out bright and clear. If you can, make sure there is no clutter or distracting objects in the background so there can be no mistaking what is included in your offering. For smaller items, you can use a white or light colored board as a background, or in this example, I'm using a plain wall as the background and I've covered the floor with a white vinyl sheet. Use up as many of the photo slots as you can. It is well worth showing the item from all sides and any accessories and original packaging if you have it, so a potential buyer is in no doubt of the condition of the item and what comes with it. To maximize the chances of selling and for a good price, it is worth spending some time to make sure your item is clean and presentable. Uh, my pressure washer has been in storage for a while and is quite dusty, so I will give it a good clean. 
I've also powered it up and tested um, when washing my car the other day, so I can be confident that everything is working as it should be. So once you've logged into eBay, if you go to this sell button here and click it, it will take you to the listing screen. So it kind of guides you through. So the first um, step is to type in what you what you want to sell. So it's a Bosch AQT 33-11. Let's see if it has a suggestion. No, it's not. This is quite an old um, pressure washer, so it's not coming up with a suggestion. Um, so I will type it in manually. Um, pressure washer and you know be be specific about what it is you're selling because this is how it's going to be picked up by the search engine and connected to searches so whether people put in Bosch AQT or pressure washer then it should come up and I'll just put a box with um, accessories and instructions And it's not finding it, so yep, I'll choose this category because it makes sense. Pressure washers. Find a match. It doesn't have a match as it's saying here, so that's fine. We just carry on. It means I'll have to put in a few details manually. Condition of the item. Here it's important to be honest. If it's used, just say it's used. Don't say it's new other. New is really for brand new sealed items. New others usually if it's an open box, perhaps, you know, if it's a phone, it'll still have all the, the wrap on it. You might have powered it on to test, but it shouldn't really be used other than that. And you can, if you, if you do use the new other option, you can then put in a description as to why it's not brand new. But my pressure washer is definitely used, so we'll choose that. And the last one is, of course, if it's an item that doesn't work, then you can just put that. Sometimes people will buy it for spare parts or to repair themselves. Okay, so now we click continue to listing. Okay, so I'll just exit this message. Okay, so provide photos for your listing. They allow up to 24 photos. Um, so I've taken photos on my phone earlier and airdropped them onto Mac. Ah, okay. So I'm going to select all the photos. Okay, so I'm happy with the main picture of the pressure washer to be the main photo, that makes sense. Um, and then I've got pictures of the, both the back and the sides and the accessories that come with it. Oh, this photo I'll delete. Um, and I believe you can rotate photos. If you click that edit icon, I'm going to rotate it to the right direction, right orientation. Um, so here you can you can brighten, add effects, remove background and so on. But as I'm in a race for time and I wanna get this listed um, this evening, that's fine. I'm just gonna rotate the picture. And I've got pictures of the hose, um, front of the box, back of the box, and a close up of the um, text in English, description in English so people can see what it is for themselves. I've never bothered with paying for the optional subtitle. It's just a way to add more information, as it says here. Uh, I've generally found people will, will find, find the item fine if they want to buy it. Category's already been selected earlier. You can change it with this edit button if you need to. Um, brand. Okay, it's already suggested, so I'll click Bosch, type, cold water pressure washer. Um, yep, yeah, it's definitely cold water one. Bosch AQT power source, corded electrics, features. Um, 
let's choose these because that tree is a, it's a lightweight machine um, it uses quick connects for the hose and it's got a carry handle uh, auto start stop um, it's compact doesn't have any of those it does have a water inlet filter um, so choosing all the options that apply to whatever you're selling just helps it to be found because uh, as it's telling us here that people are actually looking for these when they're buying a pressure washer so depending on what you're selling the features will, will vary accordingly maximum pressure um, 110 bar for this one so it's 110 bar voltage 230 Soap tank, don't, don't have that model. You can enter your own, so I'm going to put in Bosch, B O S C H, Bosch. A Q T 33 11. Um, show you more. Right, you can add loads more information, but I'm not going to. Um, this has got hose length, cable length, uh, items included. Uh, oh, it might be worth putting this. It's got a gun. It's got a hose. Um, user manual, water inlet filter. Again, if you if you have the time and want to fill all these in, it will just help with search and get the right people to find your item but as i'm pressed for time i'm just going to leave it as that condition to used condition description i'm going to put good working order good working order recently recently tested and um inlet filter clean description so I'm going to just put in my own kind of description first. Compact um, Bosch pressure washer. Complete with um, accessories. Complete with the following accessories. Um, let's see, compact Bosch pressure washer box and complete with the following accessories. So it's got the machine itself, jet fan nozzle, lance, water filter and a high pressure hose. And then I'm just going to put in some, some more details. So if um, if eBay had um, the description ready, or if, if you could choose the, this specific um, machine already from the list earlier, then it would probably populate a lot of this information. But because it can't find this particular model, I'm just uh, lifting some uh, details um, from the web. Um, it's probably a generic description from Bosch themselves. Um, just to give buyers some information. Um, so I'll just put in here, specifications. And as you've seen, it doesn't take long just to put these details in, just to make sure they are correct. Um, and you know people could go and search themselves but they probably won't so it just reduces friction they can find out what it is really easily and make them more likely to buy or place or bid in this case right so format auction seven days starting bid let's just say 14.99 so i'm going to put the buy it now as 39.99 Normally I don't bother with the buy it now, but 
always people ask me what a buy it now price is so i'm just going to put that i'll be happy if it goes for that um i don't think i paid much more for it actually i think it was 47 pounds i paid so if someone goes for that then i'm, I'm perfectly happy to let it go for that schedule the listing i'm going to let it go live immediately but you can toggle here and put a specific time if you wanted to but the reason I'm not it's Sunday evening almost quarter to nine and it's it's one of the best times to um, end your listing because generally Sunday evenings is a time when people are free and they're going to have time to do a bit of shopping really you'll have um, more interest generally if you end your listing uh, on a Sunday evening okay postage method small to medium items yep um I'm not going to put that in just for the interest of time. I'm just going to get this listing live as soon as I can. Other 48 hour courier. I'm just going to put 399. Global shipping program is what I was talking about earlier. And yeah, you just ship it to eBay's uh, facility in the UK and they will sort out the, the onward journey for you. So why not? I mean, it, it just means there's more potential buyers. Other postal. I think this is if you're going to handle interna international shipping yourself. Collection in person. Yep, I'm happy for anyone local to just come and pick it up. Preferences. Okay, so two working days handling. That's fair. Um, obviously, the sooner you can um, ship it off, the better, because people generally don't like to wait too long. Or what should I say? People like to have get their stuff as soon as possible, isn't it? We're all the same. So make it as fast as you're comfortable with with setting there. Uh, no returns accepted unless items not described. Promote the listing. I'm not going to promote it. I've never promoted a listing, and to be honest, everything I've listed has had interest. And there's only been a couple of times with some niche, maybe like photography lighting equipment that hasn't sold first time but I've listed it again another time and it's sold so up to you but you know if you're trying to um, make as much money as possible or keep as much money as possible from the sale then you can just uh, not not opt in for these things payments managed by eBay that's fine um, I'm not going to do charity on this occasion list of displayed fees list of displayed fees And it's done. So you can just quickly click view listing and just make sure that you are happy with everything. Um, all your photos. Because you can go back and edit. So it's worth just checking. That's the close up. Okay, starting bid, buy it now. So it's going to end quarter to nine next Sunday. So we'll come back and see how it does uh, in one week's time. And that's a delivery, no returns, collection in person accepted. This is all the information. Make sure there's nothing inaccurate there. Item description from the seller. Okay, that's the model number. So if I can find any more accessories, I can add them in. But this is what I have at the moment. So. That's all I'm going to say that comes with it. So this is just lifted off the web, but still make sure it's accurate. Okay, and that's it. Why I wanted to list today is every so often eBay will have a promotion where you don't pay more than a pound in selling fees. And this is really good for expensive stuff because you could be selling like a 500 pound, a laptop for 500 pounds and you just pay one pound in selling fees. You still have to pay the um, transaction fee, but you know this is this is well worth doing so if you're not in in a hurry then you can always create your listings and save them as a draft and then make them live when these kind of offers come up and with this offer i've activated already so to say i've already had it but with this offer 
um, you already have 100 listings that you can do. So yeah, that's well worth looking out for those offers. And other times it might not be a pound, but they'll they'll reduce the fee. Um, it can be kind of like on a sliding scale, depending on how much the item is. But still, you know, um, any reduction in fees is welcome. That's generally when I will list is when, when these offers come up. So we'll leave it there and come back in a week's time and see how the pressure washer is doing. So here we are one week later after the end of the auction and the pressure washer did sell. There was a bid, um, I think on the Tuesday and closer to last Sunday, there were more and more bids and eventually the winning bidder paid more than what I actually bought the pressure washer for a few years ago, um, which is great news. There were no questions about um, buy it now price, which I recommend putting a buy it now price um, something you're happy um, for someone just to pay in and end the auction. That way you avoid a lot of hassle back and forth and explaining that there's no buy it now price because, well, I haven't put a buy it now price. It's also worth opting in for the global shipping program because this time, again, I've had an overseas uh, customer. If you've got some value from this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button as I really uh, appreciate the feedback and it will let me know what kind of videos I should be making um, in the future. Let's jump back onto eBay and I'll walk you through um, the process of buying shipping. So once you're logged in, go to my eBay and click on selling. So you see I've only had the one item, the pressure washer for sale, and that's the total with shipping. So it is worth checking the box for global shipping because it just opens up a lot more customers. So I've clicked on send item and for anything kind of of this value and up, I'd definitely go for the tracked service because this just covers you in case of any um, problems. So let's click use eBay delivery. So you'll see here um, the options you have. So here it's going to Litchfield, which is the global shipping program center for eBay in the UK. So I've weighed the box for the pressure washer and it's six kilos. So you have a range of drop off points that you can use, but I want it to go quickly and also have the right level of insurance if it gets lost or damaged. So I'm gonna go for UPS because we have um, a drop off point quite near where we live. So that's handy. And it's not, it's not really that much more than the cheapest option. Standard protection, don't need any of those things. So I'm just going to uh, go ahead and pay. So I've got a label printer, so I'll just choose four by six labels. And, and that's it. Just uh, make sure your item is well packaged to avoid it getting damaged. And then put on the postage label and depending whether you're going to drop it off or have it collected, dispatch the item when, you know, within the time you said you would on a listing. I think for this particular listing, I said within a couple of days, so payment came yesterday and I'll drop it off tomorrow. So yes, within the two days. And if you buy the postage through eBay, then you don't need to worry about updating the details for dispatch because all the tracking, etc., and the dispatch notice will get sent to the buyer automatically. Um, and even though I'm going to drop this off tomorrow, it's going to appear as being dispatched today, which is handy as well. Um, and that's it. It's, um, it's pretty straightforward to print your postage or buy your postage. Um, and then it's kind of a good, um, if we go back to the sold items, you can leave feedback. So I will be leaving positive feedback for the buyer because they paid pretty prom promptly. And it's just good to leave feedback for each other. It helps the trust system work and hopefully the buyer will reciprocate and leave me uh, positive feedback. And then as a seller, of course, the more um, positive feedback you have, um, and higher star rating, 
it gives other buyers more confidence to buy from you and that they can trust just in buying things from you in the future. So it um, just takes a couple of minutes and it's well worth doing. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, in the comments below. And I hope to see you in another video soon. Bye.